Did you hear about those fires on Easter Island? No. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> it's very upsetting. Fires on Easter Island? Is that yeah. like when those savages uh, knocked all over those beautiful statues <laughs> in the Middle East? Oh, they, they jackhammered their faces yeah, off? Yeah, and sledgehammered them. Not like a bunch of assholes. No, but apparently, I, d- I didn't hear about this, and obviously this isn't going to be on the news, but on uh, October 5th, 2022, a fire broke out in Easter Island. On, on the yeah, room. broke out. Yeah, broke out. Broke there's, out. There's no fucking trees on the island. It's just, it's grassland. Uh, spread across 100... We don't all live there, right? 100 hectares. Which we all know. I don't think anybody is. lives there. Um... It it burned up like a hundred of the moa here. I, I I saw this video. Let's watch this. It's Billy Carson, our our man. Shit, fucking blowing up. I've been trying to go to Easter Island for the last ten years. Shit? Can't get in. Not only can you cannot get in, you, you were nobody's going to get in now because if somebody went there and lit that place on fire. They burned down the majority of the Moai heads. They they put some type of a chemical on the Moais and lit that on fire, which melted solid stone. How do you get that much fuel, first yeah. of all, on the island? It's hard to get there. How do you get the fuel there? And whatever was, was added to this fuel or whatever type of fuel it was, I mean, who, who had the approval to bring that kind of chemical through international waters onto that island and then have the time to put it on top of the stone and then to actually light them all on fire? There's not trees. There's no trees on Easter Island. There's nothing to keep the flames going. So if somebody manually had to go and burn all these heads. So now with that being destroyed, and my biggest dream was... I fucked up. That literally means, like, yeah, it's stone. So someone had to, like, hit it with a fucking flamethrower. Yeah. Like, each one, or and, like, put, melt it down. You had to put a chemical on it. Look at these fucking... Well, yeah, but even if you pictures. put a chemical on it, you still had to, like, go to each one and char it. Yeah. Like, it, exactly. was, it wasn't just going to, like, light it up and leave. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's a fucking operation. Look at this shit. Look at these pictures. How does the grass underneath them not burn? Like, in the top? Oh, like, around it? Yeah. How is it sitting on grass? But that's not where the chemical was, Zach. But yeah, obviously. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, the, what's the forensics on that? Like, I'm a dumb fuck. And I'm like, what? Doesn't grass light on fire? Well, that's like all those pictures uh, from Maui. When like the wildfire, like it's on like on other side of the no, property. yeah, it burns the it burns the, the neighbor property line. It burns the neighborhood, and then it gets to the, it gets to the rich area, and it goes well, well fucking. I'm, I'm, it's I'm, like the I'm, Chicago I'm, fire, avoiding yeah, avoiding that uh, that rich dude's house yeah. that went up to his wooden fence and stopped his Tom Sawyer fence, <laughs> his fucking wooden fence. Yeah, the building next to it exploded with paint from back in the day, which I'm sure is like. Oh, highly flammable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's two, two parts gasoline. Yeah. They were putting fucking <coughs> oil in everything, right? <coughs> oh, yeah. That's like, I, I wonder if a lot of the paint in my house is lead-based. I was chipping mm-hmm. a lot of paint off the trim. Only one way to find that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bite it like a coin. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> you see all those, speaking of lead-based shit, you see that, uh. It was like Stanley water bottles are popping off. White People bitches love really them. really excited about that shit. White bitches love them. What's the other one? The Yeti? Yeah. People. Yeah. People love that. People go crazy for Yeti shit. It's strange. I have a Yeti. It's, it's the fine. same. It's I, the same thing as any other water bottle. It's just strange, like, the level of, like, yeah. how certain things take off. I know people like that. I, I know people that will, the new Yeti, like, bag comes out, they're at dicks buying it. You know... Here's an interesting paradox. It's almost like you start to get a little racist. (laughs) And usually, who's to blame? White people. Obviously. But who keeps you from being racist is also white people. Because white people will do some stupid shit like that where they're like, oh, my God, Stanley Muggs. And you're like, you should be beaten to death. Your temple should be caved in with one of those things. You fucking moron. But it immediately reminds, like, the second you think, uh, you're getting a little racist. It's like, oh no, everyone sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's everyone, right. Everyone's an asshole. Yeah, that's right. That's what white people are out doing. Probably the worst offenders. It immediately puts everything in perspective. <laughs> back, it puts everything back in perspective. Right. <laughs> you have one bad exchange at McDonald's. No, it'll fucking ruin it for Next you. Next scene, you're like, these people. <laughs> these. I'm, I'm I'm hanging out with all my black friends. Going, <laughs> these fucking whites, dude. Am I serious? Are we serious with these people? No, it's just good. But no, the all those Stanley water bottles, people are doing tests on them. They're fucking filled with lead. 
They just wipe them with this like thing. It's fucking lead filled. That's cool. Everyone thinks they're like saving the world. Yeah, insane. Yeah. Fucking crazy. You're killing yourself. Yeah. You're murdering yourself. You're, you're, like you're you're letting the government kill you. Well, probably not kill you, but weaken you. They don't want you dead. That that is true. They don't want you. They dead. want you in a. They want a you in the hospital. Yeah, they want you <laughs> meek state. <laughs> if everyone could be in a Stephen Hawking <laughs> type situation, that the government would love. That'd be that. nice. I'd love that. No, it's fucking gross. That's like that chemical that w- that Christian found was like higher in the foods now. It's in uh, yeah. all all oat based foods. Some pesticide. And I get how back in the like that the food shit I I can always understand maybe not being a conspiracy from the jump because from the jump maybe they're just like Shh, we found this magic chemical that makes sense yeah it, oh it grows things better you don't find out till like years later it's like oh wow. that causes brain cancer every bad thing. <laughs> Has gone up <laughs> health wise. That's crazy. I wonder if it, I, and it, and you said it corresponds with the yeah. date we change. Oh, uh, huh. Weird. Yeah. You know me. I get fucked up on that shit. The, uh, it's so weird. You see, like, all these famous people now. Like, oh, this Toby Keith just died of stomach cancer. Man was like f- 60. Access to the best. That's what I mean. Like, these are some rich fucking people. I'd be dead in a week. It's weird, though, because then there's, like, a whole health industry that makes all this money. But it's like, I'm still a fat fuck. Yeah. Like, you'd think that would... It's not like that's at odds with, like, fast food and stuff. They just both... What? Like, fitness and health, like, the health industry. It's not like... You'd think they'd be, like, attacking one another, but... It's the same thing as politics, like... No, no. You get, like, the red and blue protesters to go and fight, but, like, the people up top all have dinner together. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they'll they'll give you a fucking gym membership when you get a McDouble. Yeah. Keep buying the McDouble. Your gym membership's free. Go work it off. Keep eating this shit and then go work it off. It's fine. You'll be fine. I know it's not a partnership, but Planet Fitness literally, like, does order pizza and, like, bagels and stuff. What? Really? It's a gym. One of the days is like free pizza night at Planet Fitness. And <laughs> Jason always used to make fun of Johnny for being a member there. He's like, Johnny only goes on Wednesdays. <laughs> this is free pizza yeah. night. I go and I get a quick set in and then I pound Johnny seven figures slices. if the membership's $10 a month, if you go in and you eat $10 worth of pizza. Four times a month. You've paid for your membership. <laughs> Easy. It's like a buffet. He goes, most people only have a slice, but you know, they don't, they, they're not going to stop. Yeah. You're not going to tell you. That's no. what they should do. Golden Corral should have a membership. A subscription service. Yeah, a subscription yeah. based service. You can go in there, you, you get charged by the pound, mm-hmm. and you get so many pounds. Well, there's different tiers. There's, well, obviously, there's different yeah. tiers. Yeah. There's parts of the buffet you you don't have access to you can't. when you're at the bronze level. You're not getting to that other. Yeah. You're not getting to the other end where the prime <laughs> the prime rib is. Yeah, no, if you know what not, I mean. Yeah, you're not dealing with that. They should have a golden corral that's like food, but then like in the future it just evolves into other things also, like prostitutes and stuff at the end. Like That'd a, be nice. A golden corral of everything. It's like yeah. a Walmart. It's a Walmart, but it's, it's a buffet, buffet style. Yeah, for people that want it now. <laughs> For people on rascals. Yeah. Because of Walmart, you got to think there's going to be a lot of... The same way we had to, like, expand our roads for lanes, they're going to have to expand the aisles at some point when everyone's on the, the rascal. Yeah, or the weight of people. Well, same. Yeah, yeah, either way, the fatness will be too expansive. And they'll need to widen the lanes. So at that point... Golden Corral comes in. It has everyone. It's a. It's like. Yeah. It's like a drive-through, but inside, whole, it's one line. That's a great point. All Walmart aisles are big. Big people. Whole Foods. Whole food aisles are narrow. You try getting down that thing. You're you're bumping shoulders with someone trying to pass them. I'm sure people, Walmart has had like enough lawsuits of people being like. I can't, I fit. can't get this. <laughs> this is bullshit. You want me to walk in the aisle that close to a color film? <laughs> like, you know what? It's just easy. It's gonna be easy. We're gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna make the store a fucking warehouse. You lo- I like that brand of racist person. Like the the f- it, it's, You know how there's people know like the fat fuck dude that like hates women. Yeah. I like the fat fuck dude that's racist. 
and is like, those people are disgusting. It's like, you're literally gross. You're, you're the like, worst. <laughs> that guy's like a normal guy. <laughs> you're like a monster. <laughs> you have seven chins. Yeah. You look like you're wearing a fat suit yeah. made of human. Ugh. That with that odor, that smell. I had a cousin. Because you got to get in there. You know what I mean? And, and it's hard. And don't. It's hard. I can well, imagine. It's not hard. It's flat. Well, no, I can imagine as a big person in the shower. Because what are you going to do? You're, you're not taking a bath. You never get out of that tub. There was a dude on Kill Tony last night. He weighed like 520 pounds. That's in, that's impressive. And when he that's was a stand, specimen. When he would stand, sometimes he would put his arm behind his back. And Tony's like, I don't know if anyone noticed. He kept putting his arm behind his back. If you could turn around sideways, sir, he has a shelf back there. And he was resting his arm on, really? like, his back-to-ass fat. Because his arm's tired. And he just, like, would rest it there. He had, like, a shelf. That's like those girls with the fat ass who it use like their, that, but their ass as a shelf. Yeah. You, they, got, they got the back boobs. You ever see that? On Tosh. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> it's a classic Tosh bit. Classic Tosh. Come on. No. I'm really looking forward to entering uh, the stage of my life where I can just like, because I see other people do it. And I've talked about it before, like, you wonder, like, that guy's a dickhead, and you're like, oh, no, I get it. Like, I understand. What do you mean? Like, he's... You he's, think he's just a dickhead, and it's like, oh, no, I get it. Like... He's just going through some things shit. Things just never change. Like, he wasn't always like this. He wasn't always a dickhead. Like, he was a person once. People made him this way. He was eroded into this fucking just... This is... The shell. This is how he gets through. Like, I get it. And... I feel like part certain things just come with yeah. The, like, you see yourself getting here. Oh yeah, but certain things just seem to be part of that package, and part of it is just like resenting women. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to just having that where I can be like this fucking like they're all the same. Yeah, ugh. Just being dis- like when you said that girl uh, where uh, she has like a shelf for yeah. her hand, be like it's disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> just. That's terrible. Uh, you know what you should do? Go to school. What age is this of you? 50, I think. That seems to be. You're going to hit 50 and that's it? Well, I just see Are it. you in shape at 50? This guy isn't. This guy's not in shape. No, I think you've ward a lot of that stuff off if you're in shape. Okay. So you you think you're going to get to a point where you're like, God, my body hurts, I can't work out, I'm, fuck it. You're just. Fuck it. This is bullshit. You're just I living fucking, I fucking hate waiting to die. God made me do that. Like, this life is shit. I hate women. <laughs> but that's the, the life isn't shit. It's good enough <laughs> to where. To not kill yourself. No, not that. You can't kill yourself because of family and stuff. It, the life is good enough that you can't complain about it and say. And can't you can't even have the fact that I yeah. got through this shitty life. Like, you had, you a, got, you you had a cakewalk. You live in the 1% of the world. Yeah. You, what was you hard? A, of, you got a house at twenty seven. It was fine. Everything was fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You hang out. You got a half decent job. So it's not even like you have the right to be like, oh, this life is suffering. Yeah, and you could just fucking call it quits or whatever. Like you just count you're, the fucking your middle. Days. Your middle age, where no one really gives a shit about you. You've missed every opportunity <laughs> when it was applicable, and now s- when it, you're, you've had opportunities and you said nah, and you've squandered them, <laughs> and now you're twice the age. And if you, if it didn't work out then, it certainly won't work out now. <laughs> certainly not working out now. You you've made mistakes and kind of learned from them, but not really yeah. acted on no. the things you've learned. You've kind of repeated this. You're same on mistake. your way to the same mistake that you made ten years ago, and you'll be. You won't, you won't be less angry about it yeah. as you should be for, like, expecting this result now. You'll be more angry because you know you could have avoided it and yeah. you've continued down that same path regardless. <laughs> At some point, you met a woman and she's like, wow, you know, I really like this guy. And you just unload everything on her and she's like, oh, you, absolutely <laughs> <don't value. laughs> you absolutely don't value. You absolutely don't value the situation and you think that uh, she's... 
a fucking idiot <laughs> because no, she likes you. And no, you go, she's a why whore. would I be with some stupid bitch <laughs> that can't even see what a fucking asshole I am? Yeah. Get lost. I I have to do you the favor yeah. of breaking up with you so you can go find the right person because you can't even fucking no, cause you're dumb. think straight. You're fucking dumb. And see that this is going nowhere. Yeah. That'll be nice. That's 50? I would 45, 50. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah like 20 years i think w- like uh one uh, uh there's like a a real setback with the spine that like real like uh, there might be like a a disc a, or something a more adamant like limp now or not a full limb but maybe there's like a kind of leg dra- just something that's real like <gasps> some that you notice every day something that well that i'm uh, sorry but like Something that makes it like, oh, recovery is not in the cards. It's not an option. Yeah, like this is... You'd have to get a nude leg. <laughs> you don't make nearly enough money to consider no. recovery options. <laughs> no. Are you still a supervisor? <laughs> <laughs> have you never advanced <laughs> from that job you hate but can't quit because you're not able to get a better job? Well, you don't make nearly enough money to even consider recovery. Sir, I know what kind of insurance you have, and I'm not going to insult you <laughs> but and start naming prices. I'm going to suggest maybe a leg brace from Walmart. I'm going to say, you know, YouTube's got a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know. If you're knees over toes. Yeah. Uh, you know, but by then he'll have been busted for being a pedophile. <laughs> as what happens to everybody, <laughs> you get you get big enough. Yeah, J- Jeff Cavalier is now a gay man. <laughs> he's, well, he's been a gay man. Jeff Cavalier has been fucking that, for getting fucked by that guy. I don't know which way they go. Him and Jeff. Jeff's are. a top. You think that, but Jeff's, I would say. Well, you know, I guess that's true. If you, you wouldn't think if he's you gay. if you're putting off top energy your whole life, you want you'd want to know what it's like to be bottom at some and point. You're closeted the whole time. Exactly. No. Exactly. You probably got a banging hot wife. She's probably like blonde, big tits. I don't know if her like face is pretty. Oh, the face is whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But Fo- she's probably like... he found her in Long Island when he <laughs> Connecticut. Remember? Oh yeah, Connecticut. That's- I would I would have bet all my money. <laughs> Connecticut. It's not like that's... It's like the next thing from Long Island. But, like, I would have bet all my money Long Island. It makes more sense, though, to be honest. Because he is too smart to be from Long Island. Yeah, he would have been, like... That would have been, like, hand... His dad would have been the the gym guy. He got it handed to him. Thomas went to a cool gym in Long Island, Massapequa, where it was, like, old school as fuck, and it was all, like... I don't know if it was like stone weights or what, but it was just like what stone weights. It was everything was like gray in there. It was nothing was like new. Everything was like old. And it was like a fucking like real like like oh it was like a power lift. You come here to work bodybuilder gym. It wasn't like a commercial. It was like a open a garage door and there's just fucking yoked dudes hanging out <laughs> with fucking, nine milkshakes and shit. It's fucking killing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the thinnest, the thinnest tank top you can yeah. fucking think. <laughs> with the fucking with the armholes that go down to the sides. Oh, fucking a couple of weightlifting gloves, tank you top, those, you backwards those, hat. You got those straps on your on your wrist. You ever those use those? Guys don't. <laughs> no, they don't need it. I don't think so. What is that? Does that just makes sure they lift more. Oh, it helps you lift more. Yeah. I, I assume. Yeah, because it's grip, right? Make, I think it, like, helps. Or, no, it doesn't. So it's not in your hands. It pulls it, from your yeah, wrist. it's taking, like, away from. That's interesting. Like, the burden or whatever. Yeah, those guys don't need that. They got lifting gloves on. Well, I think there's two categories for, like, world records because that one dude invented that slingshot thing. The what? That vest they wear. You ever see that shirt thing? No. It's, like, two sleeves they put on. It's one piece, but two sleeves, and kind of like is a. I don't know if it gets zipped up in the back or if it's just the front. Oh yeah, I guess it does get zipped up because it makes them like taut. So then that way, like oh, it's like those posture corrector things, sort of. But what? So like the tension from that helps you fucking pull more. Yeah. So like when the barbell comes down, they can like kind of fucking snap it back up. So it's like it. I think people add, like, a fuck ton more weight. I don't want to say, like, 100 pounds. That might be overstating it. But people add a bunch more weight. So I think it was, like, two competitions. Interesting. 
It's almost like a, a assisted physical com- steroid. There's the assisted competition. Yeah. You get a handicap. That's interesting. Brian Shaw and Eddie Hall are training for a MMA fight. I you think. said that. Yeah, it's exciting. It's fun. They're both big. Yeah, it's cool. What are they, like 300 pounds? Look it up. That might be four. Eddie Hall? Eddie Hall. And he's over, he's an Englishman, I believe. Somewhere over there. 362. 362. He's short, though. Who's the other guy? Brian Shaw. He's tall. Yeah. 445. <laughs> Holy fuck. Is he married? His poor wife. Yeah, that was that picture. That's his wife? Yeah. I would imagine. Maybe not. I don't fucking know. They're all with like the smallest women. I guess not. She just look like a normal normal gal. I like when he wears regular clothes. It's so funny. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, you're supposed to be wearing like a kilt and a battle axe yeah. and armor. <laughs> like just a suit. Just going out to a friend's barbecue. How big's his penis? Is that statistic? Is that statistic online? Mm. Probably not. I've not looked it up. It's got to be huge. You would hope. No, I mean. You'd be really disappointed if it wasn't. If it's just like a five and a half. Yeah. Six inch. I would hope it's a. You got to be pushing nine. It's like uh, in the longest yard when they see that one and they see Goldberg's penis, and uh, that's a movie I haven't seen in a long time. Really, it's, it, I like. I have it. to pop that one in. Remember, uh, he's in the shower and they walk in. They're like, uh, "You could tackle him or drop that hammer on his head. Drop that fucking hammer on his head." <laughs> it's like, "All right, we'll see you in your petty guana later." <laughs> Is that rated R? I don't think so. No, it's very funny that movie is about. A bunch of dudes in prison, most of them being black, and they decided to make a big dick joke about a white guy with the name Goldberg. <laughs> Goldberg. <laughs> a Jew. Yeah. A Jew with a big penis. That was an odd choice. Is that unheard of? A Jew with a big penis? Yeah. No, I think Jews back in the day were tough, remember? They were like Jew boxers and stuff. So back then it was probably like... I guess that's true. He could probably pipe you down. They were like Italians back in the day. <laughs> a Jew was just an Italian yeah. back then. Big-nosed people. We're going to see some Jews today. You better believe it. Taste Jerusalem. That place is delicious. I'm so I, I, I was trying to make it like a threat. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> it's going to be on, <laughs> on site. Shit. No, I'm excited. Do you think we make a tunnel joke to break the tension? When we go yeah. over there? No, I think we walk in and Just we Just to say, put them at ease. Yeah. Hey, go. I was looking for the tunnel. I couldn't find the entrance. Yeah, I didn't know whether to use the door or the... I'm just fucking with you. We'll take we'll take two of we'll the take kebabs. The usual. <laughs> two of the kebabs. A couple falafel. We'll be at our booth. Hey, where's your hat? Yeah, we'll be at our booth. The best booths they have. Yeah, it's a nice situation. I'd really want to just get in there. Is that what a hookah lounge is like? I, maybe. Is that what they have couch? Lo- uh, I think you're sitting on the floor on those pad things. I wouldn't like that. Well, that's like a gypsy thing. Oh, like an Arab couch, right? Like a, I forget what they call that. Like Aladdin? Yeah, kind of. I halfway want to put one of these out in the on the porch. Oh, you know that guy I always tell you about that realtor no. stream I watch? This dude. The dude that does the John Taffer impression. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Tim Dillon was on his stream. Really? Yeah. Because he was like the mortgage guy, yeah, and he like buys houses now. So if Tim Dillon's buying houses now. No, he just has money. Buys oh, okay. houses. He's got a house in like four states. No, right, damn. Um, but that would be a good one to get into because it's Tim Dillon. You already like him. Yeah, but guy's fucking great. He kills that John Tafford impression. You'd like that guy because he's like uh, he knows so much. Like that. He, He's only he only does that shit because his buddy Sam Hyde like did it and like just brings him with. But like he's like a successful like he does that like housing shit. Yeah, like he just knows like carpentry, like housing building. Oh shit. really? Yeah. And so he's just like people just hit him with questions and he's like, 
Uh, yeah, you could do that, but then they're going to fucking screw you. What I would do is go down to the lumber yard, tell, tell the guy, hey, don't fucking Jew me around on this. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't Jew me around on these fucking two yeah. by sixes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you good business, so, you know, why don't you cut me a fucking deal? Yeah, he's awesome. And he never, like, bullshits. He's like, uh, yeah, did I get a big help from my dad? Hell yeah, but... People also want to like blow it out of proportion because dad owned like a car dealership, I guess. Yeah. He's like, so people want to act like, you know, it was fucking BMW. I don't know what it is, but people want to act like it was something crazy. He's like, listen, it was a small car dealership. Not acting like I didn't have help, but also let's not act like it yeah. was something crazy. My either. dad didn't own fucking Mercedes. Right. Yeah. yeah. So dude's a straight shooter. And I like that. I like that. I appreciate that. What's his face? Uh, he had me thinking about buying thousand dollar rugs for him. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god! He had me fucked up about rugs. What's his? Uh, Bill Burr had some like car finance dude on. He was talking about like how to get a, how to buy a car, and he's like, I buy cars over the phone. He's like, What do you mean? He's like, You you don't you don't go through their finance, and you got to get like a secondary loan from like fucking like like a credit union, and then you just go there and you say, Hey, I have X amount of money, and like I just want that car, so. Here's the check. So, like, let's figure that out. And, like, dude, he just buys cars on the phone. He's like, yeah, fuck those people. They're fucking, they're fucking assholes. All, all they are is just scummy salesmen. I mean. It's true. I, I, I remember when I. It's kind of like a. It's like how we talk about realtors almost. It's like, yo, I picked the car. I know what car I want. I don't need you to walk me around and be like, oh, this one's yeah. got this. Like, I, I don't did need all you to, that Yeah, I don't need you to jerk ago. me. Out. Yeah, this has been fucking weeks of my day. I show up. That one. You tell half the time they're going to be like, uh, we have to wait for that one to come in. I'm like, okay. Like, I could have called up and yeah. just arranged this Fine. and then came yeah. out when it was the here. You know, like, it is kind of just a bad yeah. system at this point. That's not even Do you like, like the test AI. drive them or no? I did. I've, I've only ever got cars from uh, that place that's like my mom's yeah. godfather. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, that's a big hookup my family has. So you're just getting hooked up. We owe that, yeah, on a Kia. It's a Kia. It's a Kia. <laughs> Let's fuck. <laughs> not whipping around in the fucking Benz. And I guess my mom's godfather. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, it's nice. a Kia. Yeah. He does shitty commercials in Evergreen. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I my first car I got hooked up on. And when you say hook up, you mean like a little bit off the sales price or whatever it is? The biggest thing. Is I think the way it's been explained to me is he gets awards based on selling like volume. So he makes enough money like selling cars to normal people, where if you're like anyone that knows him and wants a car, he will just sell it to you at the most like flat rate, get it out the fucking door because really? it's just. Now it's, it's volume. It's it doesn't a, matter. He wants those. He's not losing money. Those are padding stat yeah. cars. He's not losing money. Yeah, but and he's not making any money. If on it's it. a new car, he um, can like fuck with the financing a lot. So like when I got my first car and I wanted the payments to be really low, he was able to do that and like stretch it out over a long time and just not kill me on interest. He was like, yeah, just pay what, like two. Uh, my car payment was like two fifty. That ain't shit. Yeah, I just did that for years. That's nice. Yeah, and like my mom just will drive cars. For like two or three years and then trade them in. Trade them in. And then he just uses that and it'll be it'll just make it like a fat down payment, like more than maybe it yeah. should be or something. That's nice. Yeah. Cause to him it's just like, yeah, we I'm selling that many more cars. Yeah. Now, you know. And your mom takes care of the car. It's not like he's getting fucked on the right, on yeah. like a on like a return where mm-hmm. he's like, This this thing's a fucking piece of shit. This thing's fucked. I beat the shit out of my lease Honda. Yeah. Oh, dude, I had like I had like three months left. I was fucking pulling that e-brake on every turn. Yeah, yeah. Fucking dr- in fucking dirt roads and shit. Oh, uh, oh! I have to leave. Floor. <laughs> I beat the fuck out of that car. And then I get crashed the least car. Do you really? Yeah. Not the one in the house. Hmm? Not the ho- one that went into the house. No, oh. I mean he did that too. Oh. A, a worse That's a wild thing. story. Yeah. <laughs> a much worse thing is traumatizing a family by driving an automobile through their living room. 
destroying the home that pl- the place you're supposed to feel safe in. Yeah. <laughs> and absolutely crumbling it. <laughs> and then being like <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> or go home. In glass like a fucking degenerate. <laughs> you see that new airless basketball? It's not new. It's not new? I I keep seeing more videos on it. Are they promoting it more? Do they like get the final copy of it out? I guess it's like you're not wrong. Um there's talks so that that's what's gonna be like the NBA ball. Because there'll be do you know, do you know no how quiet it is? Yeah. It's crazy. It doesn't make sense to me. I watch I fucking bunch. I want one. I don't play basketball. Yeah. You, it's twenty five hundred dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> no, he's bouncing it. It's like dude. People were saying it's going to be the basketball of the future, and I was like, that's so fucking dumb. This guy should be shot. Mm. And then in the next sentence, he was like, yeah, because then this way, like, it just is what it is. There's no, like, there's oh, no let me va- get this one. Like, There's, there's no, no variables. Trying different balls to find another one that was just like the one they had. Be like, all right, this one's fine. Like, it just, that's the ball. The ball bounces this high. That makes sense. Yeah, it's pretty good. He fucking, dude, he dropped it with another ball, and it was like, dunk. It was the same fucking, it was the same shit. It's very odd. Cause it you like, you could see through it. He fucking held it. He like spun it on his finger, and you could see his face yeah. through the ball. <laughs> I wonder how, like obviously we can sit here and talk, and who gives a fuck? But I wonder how like what players think. Is it like harder to dunk? Like or are there other things at play? Yeah. I don't know. I don't either. Is the grip different? Yeah, because I guess there's holes in it now. Well, that's what I'm I don't understand, like, because now I could fucking just grab it. And yeah. It's like, uh, steal the ball. Steal the cool. ball from me. Dude, I heard him bounce it, and it was like, and I was like, I need one of these fucking things. This looks crazy. I'd play basketball with this thing. Once those get to be a reasonable price, one of us gets a hoop in the Once driveway. they're 40 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> once, there, once that's a $50 ball. Yeah. We get the hoop in the driveway. Yeah. Your you driveway? Have a, huh? Your driveway? Probably yours. My driveway? Yours would be better. You think so? Yeah. Because it's smoother? Well, one, that mine's all craggled up. But then uh, yours, I mean. I'll tie a thing to that fucking post in the alley. I was going to say, I feel like that little spot right there, no one drives by as much. Yeah. So you can kind of like. We'll figure it out. You could go out into the street and then into the driveway. I'll put one on the garage. Yeah, old school. Fucking cr- yam on you. crazy. <laughs> 35 at the time. <laughs> I'm getting a bocce ball set. Nice. Yeah, like a couple of dagos in the backyard. You should get croquet. I'm going to mow Oh, I, I, I already have a croquet set. <laughs> My, my dad was like, do you want this? I go, is that croquet? He goes, yeah. And I go, when did we get this? He goes, we've had this for years. I go, we've never fucking played and my life. And you guys don't want it as like the retired people going <laughs> yeah. to the place with yeah. the acres of land? Yeah, okay. I'll take the croquet set. Thanks. Yeah. Me and, <laughs> me and my girlfriend will play this in Joliet. Yeah. Together. <laughs> fucking- Not you, the retired couple in Georgia <laughs> on an acre of land. <laughs> so crazy. Now I'm going to fucking, I'm going to mow my lawn. Thin in one spot. We have a nice little fucking patch. We're gonna play. We're gonna play bocce. Nice. That's oh, gonna be nice. Rip it out. That one part on the side of your house is a good bags lane. Also. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. We're gonna do a. Let's do a garden over there. That'd be good too. That'd be nice. They put a neural link in a human. Yeah, they put it in the person. Did they? The How fir- are they? Are they super smart? I don't know. I saw that they did it, though. I think it was just saying that he didn't die. (laughs) You know what's funny? He He can control a computer mouse using his thoughts. Pretty good. Like on screen, not like move that. No, that'd be... That'd be fucking crazy. Because <laughs> I'll hey. go get in line right now to be <laughs> Professor X. <laughs> uh, you know what's wild is like a couple years ago, 40, the thing was like, ooh, how do I know if a person is like, you know, a person could be like trans and you could not know. I feel like that was like a, a thing like disc- in the discussion yeah. a few years ago. Now it's like, 
how do I know if I'm dating a cyborg? Yeah, how do I know if they have the chip? <laughs> yeah, because now if I let them in my in range of my Wi-Fi, yeah, are they <laughs> they know what's on my computer? That'd be crazy if you could just instantly read all the files. Yeah, if you go on one date with a girl and now you just have everything. Like, what, dude? What if it's like if you can control the mouse? What if you can hide? Like, if I highlight this, I don't have to read it. It just fucking beams it in my head. <laughs> Well, that's what I want. When that when it says control the mouse, is that like, all right, everyone shut the fuck up. He's going to try to do it. And you're like, and then it's like moving across the screen. Or is it just like easy as fuck? Is he fuck? talking like we are over here? And then over here, he's got he's the mouse He's looking going. and he's clicking shit. That'd be crazy. Because that's a wide range that's of a, what that could mean. Yeah. Because they do those things where they hook you up with all those sensors on your head. And it's like, shut the fuck up. And he sits there and fucking focuses and then, like, moves a thing a half an inch. Mm -hmm. It's like, he did it. He controlled the mouse. Put that on the fucking, put that on the advertising sheet. Yeah. It's a success. (laughs) (laughs) The stock's going to go through the roof. (laughs) Everyone wants Neuralink. Damn. Liz, $40,000. It's a lot less than that basketball. It is a lot less than basketball. No, it's not. $2,500 for the basketball. Oh. I don't know why so much. That'd be crazy. <laughs> 40000 Now imagine if they had a cheaper model, but you get ads. <laughs> you get ads fucking beamed in your head. <laughs> 773. <laughs> Motherfucker, this fucking shit. <laughs> Damn. That would suck. Yeah. That's imagine. Like that, uh, or then imagine everybody gets Neuralink and it's Ready like. player one. Yeah, it's that. Or it's like, hey, everybody gets Neuralink. We're all we're all having fun. Hey, oh, this is fun. And then all of a sudden, the government has to tell everybody something. Uh, you know what it's going to be like is when uh, the iPhone came out. And then, like, it got to the point where, like, at first, you were weird if you had the iPhone. Yeah. Or, like, cool or now, different. Now you're gay if you don't have the chip. Right. There was a t- I remember going over to a friend's house one time and like they were all playing like a game on their phone together and I was like, "Well, I I'm probably guess gonna I'll head out." Head out. Yeah. <laughs> like, good to see you, pals. I remember when everybody got those iPhones. I fucking wanted one so bad. I never got one. I just got the. Uh, I like saved up and got an iPod Touch. I think we talked about this, which was the, the next porn. best thing. The next best thing. That was the first porn device. That was odd. I miss having my iPad that was solely for porn. <laughs> yeah, didn't you drop it? Yeah, it was such a fucking horseshit way to break something. But I get, yes, should you sleep with, should you leave an iPad like just on the side of a bed? No, you should put it away. Sure. Obviously. Granted. Floor's carpet should be fine. Falls in the one place where there's a hard thing, and it's like that fucking slant board for yeah. my feet and stuff and calves. And Shattered the... It must have fallen just at the perfect angle because it was horribly cracked. It's crazy. Can't use it. You're sm- smearing glass everywhere. It Shards of glass on your penis. Bro, it was like terror. It was like no chance of using this. I don't. It's a one-foot drop from the top of the bed to the top of the slant board. It's, I don't even, under, I wonder if I must have like snatched the blankets in my sleep and like, and like popped it up, you know? Oh, if it flew up. And because if it just like slid off, it must have fallen at like the most like perfect angle. Like Karnak of jo- the Inhumans that we can like touch the yeah. spot that things break. When Josh first got his phone. Like a week into getting his phone, he was holding it and he dropped it from his fucking waist to the ground. And I go, oof. And he goes, it's fine. Picks it up shattered. I go, that fucking sucks. That's a damper on this day, huh? Like, this is really. <laughs> you were just telling me how that new phone is. <laughs> that fucking sucks. Kids going through it. Yeah. No. Ugh. Do you watch the new universe inside you? No, I didn't. What if I told you they found an eight hundred million year old, eight hundred million year old sarcophagus in Russia in nineteen in the nineteen sixties? I was gonna watch that tonight. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's fucking crazy. I'll save it then. No, you're cool. No, fucking. I'll forget about it. The uh, I'll be very high. It's in like this. 
they call him the Tisul Princess. That's what it, it, in this region of Tisul, Russia, right? It was like Scandinavia, nothing. I guess I guess some coal miners were there trying to mine up some shit, bro. They find, they go into this mine. They find a sarcophagus that's eight feet long, and like I forgot how tall it was and how wide, but fucking huge. They can't get it open. They're fucking busting open. They bust it open. They find a woman, unpre- like perfectly preserved, unprecedented beauty, white skin, they said. They said perfectly preserved. She's floating. She's in a translucent type dress, and she's floating in a pink liquid, right? Uh, everyone in the town comes to see it because it's like, oh, this is fucking great. It's posted in the paper. It's crazy. It's in the, it's in the 60s. One fucking dude goes up. He dips his finger in it. To be Imagine cool. writing in the paper and being like, well, that's that. Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> that's awesome. That's crazy. We found a magic fucking, you know, sorcerer shit. Just Bro. like wrote it down like, whew. Bro, so get this shit. The dude, some dude goes in there. At the whole like town's looking at it. This dude goes, dips his finger in and tastes the, like the pink liquid. Insane. It's fine. Like Later. A, like a cop with Coke? Yeah, literally. Hey. Hey, it's real. It's pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally from her pussy. All right. Easy with that. You'll go, <laughs> you'll go crazy. Yeah. So, man goes crazy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, man goes crazy. Can't find his house. Dies outside. Freezes to death. Kind of deserves it after drinking yeah, fucking pink insane. unknown substance. At some point, the KGB come. They try to carry it away with a helicopter. It's too fucking heavy. They drain all the pink liquid out in these vats because they're going to analyze and shit. The second they drain all the liquid out, the woman turns black and it starts like shriveling up. Well, no shit. Like it was preserving her. I mean, right? yeah, that's no fucking shit. Bro, I love to think that 800 million years ago, some alien race was like, we're going to fucking, you're going to plant, you're going to come back. You know, you're, you're the God of these people. Like all mm-hmm. this shit, we're going to put you here. That was the Messiah. Yeah. No one, yeah, that was the Messiah. No one will find you in Scandinavia. There was in this a timer. Yeah. In this, in this fucking cave, no one's going to find you. It'll be fine. And then fucking monkeys come and find her and go, well, drain the liquid. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like just murder this fucking It's thing. one thing to try to pick the whole th- system up and take it to like put it under observation. I get that. But if you can't do that, like you got to bring the observation there. Don't just be like, all right, dismantle it. Like yeah. clearly get, the get shit's her out. doing something. <laughs> hey, get her out. <laughs> Dumb as fuck. So they drain the liquid. They then ship her away for testing. The KGB then starts to cover it up, obviously. They start calling people crazy for believing it and trying to, like, talk about it and shit. They start confiscating all the evidence. All the newspapers are confiscating, right? This um, is just, like, a town. This is just a town yeah. in the, yeah, in Russia. Under the Soviet Union. This isn't, time. like, a Moscow newspaper. This no. is, like, some fucking mountain yeah. village. Just yeah. little. Um, the editors of the newspaper were punished, probably murdered. Uh... Many people connected to the finding were mysteriously killed. Accidents, drowning. Like, if you just, if you were connected to it, you're fucking dead. Uh, but he was an expert swimmer. <laughs> he was, the, the Scandinavians loved to swim. Yeah, no, he actually drowned in about six inches of water. It was crazy. Yeah. Dude, so then they find more sarcophagus with the same thing. To, and, and they're dating. They, they do this, this, like, crazy dating shit. They dated the first one 800 million years old. Insane. That can't. That's fucking crazy if that's real. What do they date? The sarcophagus? The body inside. Oh. Like so that, there's enough left. The shit. To do, like, yeah. It's or whatever. Like the person or whatever the fuck. They so then, she shriveled up. She didn't like turn to dust. No. Okay. No. Um, that area where they found her, she was uh, where like the coal deposits were. That was That's the oldest coal you can get in the world. That's like the oldest type of coal. Um, they found two more sarcophaguses, 200 million years old. Big spread. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, then the Soviet Union falls. They put a. There's a fucking plaque there now, discussing the whole thing. There's a plaque with like the picture, like whatever the fuck, like this is what we found. This woman here, she was 800 million years old. She was in the sarcophagus with these the shit all on it, pink liquid. This that this that and the other. That's it. That's all you fucking hear. And then it ends. And I'm an asshole. Remember when for they telling they somebody found, this? Uh, remember when they said they found Gilgamesh's tomb? Yeah, fucking crazy. They said Gilgamesh was what King Solomon? 
I don't know. I, you're the King Solomon. I think they person. said uh, there was ties that they were the same person or some shit. I can't remember. But uh, when they found that tomb, that's when the war in Iraq, that's when we fucking popped over to Iraq. Yeah, that fucking Which then, that was always my loose theory, but to know that there was like a, a thing that lined yeah, up like that. Then we're in the fucking museum stealing shit. They have uh they have video or pictures of US soldiers or there's accounts of US soldiers carrying a circ- like a body out of the fucking thing. Do you think it lined up like that? Because they were gonna do nine eleven anyway. Regardless for the oil. They wanted that well, regardless. They were doing nine eleven anyway for um to destroy the Pentagon too. Remember yeah. when he's because the day before he was like, We got all this money that's missing. Yeah. So they were gonna fucking do some shit regardless. regardless. Yeah. But then Rumsfeld said, saying that. There's oil, there's heroin. Like, do you think there there was like a debate about where they were gonna go? And then that was like what put it over the top? Well, that's what they talked about in Vice, where it was uh they were well, it was like it was the meeting where uh it was Cheney, Bush and like uh Colin Powell, and like all those, like his whole cabinet was talking. And they were talking about who to invade, and uh, Cheney and uh, Bush keep pushing like Iraq, and uh, everybody's like, "Why the fuck would we do like Colin Powell's like they didn't do anything? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Why the fuck would that be a thing?" And then Cheney pulls, uh, he he pulls Bush. Rumfeld's going off, not Bush, right? Rumfeld's going off. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, it's Rumfeld, and then Bush is kind of like chiming, and Cheney's silent. Cheney then pulls Bush aside and is like, "Hey, you're the president." You want to invade Iraq? Fucking say it. Just do it. And then he just turns around. He's like, I'm the president. We're going to invade Iraq. You're going to give that speech. He's like, all right, Mr. President. Sure. Absolutely. Goes on to say that's the biggest regret of his life. Yeah. Fucking crazy. But then. Because he was always known as like a solid dude. Mm -hmm. Who played him? Tyler Perry? Oh, maybe. I think that was Tyler Perry. I could see that now that you say that. Um, Yeah, thinking about it now. I think it's Tyler Perry. The, uh. I, I went down the fucking thought of if all these elite people, you see, you see the photos of like, oh, the Rothschilds have the biggest fucking museum in their house. All these artifacts. Oh, this, the Royal family has all these artifacts yeah. and like all this, like all these big families, that's their shit. Art and artifacts and all this, like, cause they know there's maps on the back of declarations. Yeah. Of they know these things. <laughs> they know these, th- yeah. <laughs> they know you need special glasses to yes, read it. Obviously. The, uh, Franklin. Yes, obviously. <laughs> No, the, uh, but I had the thought, if those are the people controlling the government or whatever, and they're lobbying for these wars and all this Pulling other the shit, strings. Wouldn't it make sense for them to go and invade Iraq so that fucko can go get another, oh, I just, well, they, they found that tomb. I want it. I fucking want it. Here's a billion dollars. Like, give me the, give me the body so I, so my family can have it. Uh, you know who I resonate a lot in that movie, Vice? And she's only in the movie for like a scene, I think. But when 9-11 happens and they go in the bunker and it's after... That black lady? No, I oh. think that's Condoleezza Rice. Um, but kind of her too. I, yeah, I guess actually her too. I was thinking of the lady across from him. Because mm. that, that's just who the camera's on when the narrator says that thing. Um, when he's like, of all times, why is Cheney talking to his lawyer? Yeah. like And it just that look of confusion on her face. Yeah. Of, like, we just watched him tell the president to fuck off, basically. Like, yeah, it's sure to make sense yeah. to keep him up in How the air. How would you stay in the air? Yeah, like, it, it may, maybe makes sense if he's a nice guy, too. But when he's a dickhead, you're like, you kind of look into it. It's like, okay. Tell, tells Rumfeld, you got you got uh, authority to shoot down whatever the fuck you... Really? Pres- on president yeah. authority? Or Unideer. And and then I Condoleezza Rice gets that one. Yeah, where it's like... Really? And then he talks to his lawyer, and he's like, we could do that thing now? And we they're could just take, talking. We could, we could take control? Is Mr. this happening Mr. now? Vice President, it's just to be like four times, and him as a lawyer just chatting up. That's a crazy, when he's like, you have permission to shoot that. Not, that. not anything to Dick Cheney. That's just more like anyone in that position as an American. That's a cool thing to say, like, yeah, you have permission to shoot down whatever the fuck comes yeah. out. Like, do what you got to do. Literally, if anyone, like, Says the wrong fucking thing. You like, fucking light them silence up. Yeah. that shit. Yeah. That's fucked. I do enjoy it. Like, it's a great story. It's a bad, like, it's terrible. It's bad that that's like, we do that as often as we do unnecessarily to places, mm. but it is cool 
to have that power on reserve. Yeah. Like when you, it's cool if, cause you know, it's a lot easier to like defend killing people when they're invading. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. So it's not him saying like, well, why don't you run over there to some third world nation and fucking, fucking bomb him? We'll bomb say someone shit. else did yeah. it. That's not cool. Well, that's that first scene when he's talking to Rumsfeld and he's like, or panning back to like Vietnam or wherever. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, he's like, they, they have a conversation there. Like, Somewhere on the other side of the world, something's getting bombed, like, and the world's going to change, better or worse. Like, who knows? But it's changing. It's fucked. You're just shaking things up and seeing, like, where the cards look. Yeah, literally, you're just like, like, well, let's fucking shake that up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I got a company that will come in and help you out. You're like a scientist, like, uh, trying to, like, get reactions out of things. And sometimes you just got to, like, add a little catalyst to, like, get the ball rolling. Yeah. Sometimes it don't work. But when you got no skin of your own in the game, it don't matter. No, it don't matter. You're not going to war. Your family's not going to war. Gives a fuck. But then you get a, but then you get a Jimmy Corsetti over there looking at some fucking artifacts. What the fuck is going on over here? <laughs> I thought the war was that way. You're guarding the temple, Jimmy. And you shut the fuck up. Yeah. I've had about... I'm up to here <laughs> with you and your fucking questions. <laughs> you guard the temple, and that's your fucking job. Okay. All right. Hey. Just Why look. is he holding the pine cone? So it's a, an eagle lion man? <laughs> okay. All right. I like that. Hey, that I like. Yeah. That's American. That's the most American goddamn thing I've ever seen. I love that motherfucker when he's... Because he comes off like halfway like he a feminine. He comes off as a lib. Yeah. Yeah, a real lib. So then when Joe says some shit, he's like, Oh, I have more than enough rounds in my... My basement is mostly ammunition. <laughs> like He just continues to talk like that, but starts saying yeah. wild shit. Yeah. No, that dude's great. Yeah. We gotta talk to him. I think he's been doing, like, longer stints of research and then coming back and doing a video and less. Which I appreciate. Because I think he's more out in the field now that he's hooked up with, like, that uh, Uncharted X guy. Yeah. We got to get in the field. Got to get in the field. We need money. We're here at the... uh, What the the fuck is this thing? We're here at the mounds. (laughs) Yeah, we're at the mounds. Uh, You know... That's this allegedly be- was a pretty big deal back in the day. Not much to see at the moment. Yeah, not much fucking here. That's going to be so depressing when we go to those mounds. And it's a fucking jerk off standing there. It's and a couple it's- hills. Yeah, and we go, what is this? Oh, well, we think, well, we're not actually too sure what it was. But here are some beads and yeah. arrowheads. Yeah, here's what we, we found these arrowheads around here. I'm like, all right. Yeah. I'll just go fuck yourself. Were man. they doing ayahuasca or not? Yeah. Were there giants here or not? Quit jerking me around. Yeah, here's the mounds. Cahokia. I mean, it is a big mound. It's cool. And as we all know, mounds are what's the mystery the of the first thing before pyramids. The mystery of Cahokia mounds. Can someone Tell me if there's a fucking ancient spring underneath it somewhere. That's the research that needs to be done. Yeah, do you think there's any research on this? No. No. Oh, you're inside Kaokia Mounds. Click on that. I can't see it. Oh, that's good. A smaller image. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, good. (laughs) Nice. Remains of prior structures. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so they just keep building it on top. Mm. Intrusive burial. The remains of previous structure. You know, it's disgusting. I could we did a lot of research, did not didn't even get into it. Which is fine. We'll save it. I was gonna say that's the nice thing about that research. It's not like topical shit where you just lose it. Yeah. It's like, oh, we'll roll that into yeah. next week. No, that'll be fine. It's fun. We didn't even talk about how they found 
Uh, Noah's Ark. We never talked about that? No. You sure? Thought so. Listen, I, listen, people, if we didn't, I apologize. I apologize. There's a Y files about yeah, it. There's a Y files that's tremendous. They fully found Noah's Ark. I say that it worked. People look at me stupid. Like, I, I'm, like I wanna, I'm a fucking idiot. I want to push them out the fucking door into the cold and be like, all right, well, if you don't want to be civil, I'm not going to be civil. Yeah, you tell me. You tell me what we found. Yeah. You want to hear evidence and not actually consider it and just maintain your position the entire time, regardless here's, of anything. Here's something interesting. I want to know your opinion on this. Egyptian authorities recently announced a, uh, a plan to cover the pyramid. It's the smallest of the Great Pyramids. I heard about this. Uh, of the three main periods with granite blocks. So basically, they want to make it how it used to look. What do you think about this? I can't remember what the thing I read about it. But it was saying, I, I think the takeaway was that it was a bad idea. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. You start, you're going to start restoring shit? With white granite? Because that's what it used to be on it. But are you going to do it right? Like, Well, that's the thing. Like, Isn't that the whole thing is we can't do that? Yeah. I'm sure that's not as heavy as those things maybe, but it's still heavy. It still yeah. sucks. And, and like, still like you have money for this all of a sudden. Yeah, like why not why why, why how come we don't start excavate? Like let's start And what one's gonna look like that? No, it's fucking dumb. Ugly. It's dumb as shit. Ugly. Yeah, dumb as shit. Let's see if there's any news on that. Yeah, give me some uh give me some some context, some background. Because they also had a gold peak, did they not? Yeah, they had a gold, like, what's that called? Cap? I think so. There's a name for it. Gold is crazy. With like a gold onk. Uh, Cuban link. Ooh, a Cuban link? I'm going to buy a couple Cuban links. That a pharaoh would wear? That's what would... Yeah, a <laughs> pharaoh and... <laughs> well, the pharaohs were black. Going to a jewelry store and having them be like, so what are, what are you looking for? I'm like, do you have anything like pharaonic? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Cuban dude. I'm like, excuse me? What, what are you looking for? Yeah, you know, something like... Something uh, like, a, like an ankh. Like you know, a, I don't want like a full snake headdress. But so, you know, something in that vein. Something that looks, you know... You know. Some, something that, you know, looks nice. powerful. Yes. You, know. you ever see Thoth? <laughs> you, you, you ever see his headdress? You're familiar with the Emerald Tablets teachings? I'm Hermes Trismegistus? Yeah, I'm... Her <laughs> Hermes Trismegistus? <laughs> the Hermetica? Gotta find those books. Maybe we start getting into alchemy. We start drinking my own piss. Alchemy. Alchemist. Pissed. Yeah. He needs a new album. He released an album with Hit Boy. Hit. It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. Un Uncle Al's been rapping these days. It's a weird Which time is, to start to get into it. Yeah. I mean, I found he has, like, a song every now and then. But, like, now it's, like, he released his last, uh, that, uh, the second to, uh, was it Flying High? I can't remember what the fuck it was. But he, he released his second LP. He's rapping on every song. It's weird. It's what? It's odd. Which I don't mind. I mean, hey, Al, you, I mean, you He's can allowed, rap. Yeah. You can rap. Like, it, you're, you're not bad. It's not bad. It's just weird. It's different. That's all. It's fine. Listen. Listen, brother. How you feeling? I'm going to wrap this? I'm feeling ready for Jerusalem. You ready for, for it? salvation? I'm, I'm ready to make an exodus of my own to taste of Jerusalem. To taste of Jerusalem. That, that, uh, that's um, what we're going to do. I hope they um, have the music on. Moseying my way over there. Mosesing my way over there. Moses <laughs> happy about Taste of Jerusalem. Yes. Uh. 
<laughs> I can't wait till I come across <laughs> that great chicken and rice. Mm. <laughs> I hope they nail the meal. Oh. <laughs> No, this is good. I'll be roaming over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be roaming. <laughs> hey, give me my Hamas on the side. <laughs> I hope they got the music going. They better. I feel like they turn it on when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> like, they don't even like they it. They don't want to listen to yeah. it, man. They're over it. Well, because the kids are like... Our age. And they want to be American. That one, that one yeah. kid was just looking for a friend. Yeah. That one kid wanted to hang out with us. She goes like, I've never smoked weed, but like I, I heard it's pretty cool. I heard you guys got a rise hat on. <laughs> I've seen that place. So just you guys. Yeah. Hey, man, I'll, I'll, I'll give you weed. No, give, no. I, I can't. No, I should. My mom would kill me. <laughs> my mom would fucking. You want to come out to the car smoke? Two seconds. <laughs> I'll blow it in the ear like a dog. <laughs> that way, when you tell her you never smoked, you, you're not lying. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> I like that. Get them baked. We never go back. <laughs> Fuck, we ruined that place. No, we go back and we're like, hey, lady, just so you know, your kid's a real pothead. <laughs> <laughs> your kid was trying to get us to smoke weed. <laughs> Me personally, I don't touch the stuff. <coughs> do what you want to do, but I'm I'm just saying, you know, I'm trying to run a business here. I don't know if that's a good look. No, that's not a good. This kid smells like weed. Oh, all right. This it's, is episode 100. It's been a wild ride. It's been crazy. <laughs> 100 we're at. It's a nice number. Who to thunk? Gold what letter. if I told you this was the last episode of the Stone Day podcast? Yeah, this is the last episode. We're, okay, here's the deal. Here's, here's the, the deal. Situation. I'm going to start with this. I want to thank everybody out there. All, all 249 of you, you, you beautiful bastards. You, you, you've been with, so you, you've seen some rocky shit. We haven't had our shit together for a lot of this. i am be honest with you, we're getting our feet wet. We're starting from fucking nothing. This okay? is almost like a trial run. We've never fucking done this before. We're trying something new, and we're going to keep fucking trying it until the wheels fall off of this bitch. But now, we're going to take a little break. Because the Stone Day podcast was a beautiful thing. We're getting our feet wet. But it's going to come to a close. 100 episodes the in. The Stone Day podcast is a caterpillar. And we are going into a cocoon for a short time. And what will reemerge is an a nameless at the moment, but nameless to you. We know the name. Yeah, we know the name. You fucking. But it will emerge a beautiful butterfly yeah. of a new podcast. So we're gonna take a break. We're not sure how long the break's gonna like be. A Chernobyl butterfly. Yes. Albino and red-eyed. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. But animal. you can't look away. You can't look away because of its beauty, and you, and you don't know what's coming next. You don't want to. This isn't if it was in the room with you, you wouldn't like it. But watching it on screen is fascinating. Yeah. No, this is exciting. But no, we're going to take a small break. We don't know how long the break's going to be. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a minute. Uh, but we're going to come back strong. We got skits coming. Produce sketches. We're already producing one now. We got to produce sketch. We're, got, we're doing news. We're you coming guys back don't with understand news. Like the, the, the leap in production. Yeah, we're actually going to be trying hard on this shit. We're finding our voice. We're figuring out what the fuck we want to do. We kind of got an idea now. We immediately regret the use of finding our voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Full news studio coming. We got a news show coming. We got produced sketches coming. We're going to have produced podcasts with an actual studio and a fucking a dedicated set. We're going to do curated episodes. We're going to do more research. We're going to get more into themed episodes. And we're going to put this shit out. And we're and I think you guys are really gonna like it. We're but in this time, educate you motherfuckers and ourselves, and we're gonna be like the good QAnon. Good QAnon. QAnon somehow got everyone to like in a overnight. I got everyone believing in conspiracy theories, but they're just the wrong ones. The wrong ones. Yeah, some right ones. A lot of wrong ones. I think we're halfway QAnon people. Well, some of it was right. Some of it's good. Politicians fuck kids. They got that part right. That's correct. Yeah. That's a correct statement. It's not right, but it's correct. Yeah. But yeah. 
But yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the first hundred. We're gonna be back for probably another thousand. So you fuckers take care, and we'll see you. We'll see you real fucking soon. Be Tell your friends. You got in early. Tell your friends. Hey, we got one more spot open for that two fifty. That that's a good mark. Some fucking cocksucker left, and I, uh, we need to fill that up. So what tell, would you rather do? Tell subscribe your friends. later when everyone's already subscribed, or do you want to be able to be like, yeah, I've kind of, I've been kind of been on them for a while. Yeah, I've been in on it. We're having fun. I used to do that with Rogan. Look at me. I'm like the coolest guy I know. Yeah, he's the coolest <laughs> dude. This guy, he's the fucking coolest yeah. guy I fucking know. I'm not unlikable he's at all. He's on Rogan in year two. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's how much time I had. I was yeah. <laughs> podcast before anyone gave a shit. Yeah. <laughs> so cool I am. Yeah. But all right. Hey, you fuckers take care. We'll be back soon. And like always. Yes.